Hi, let me start off by saying thank you for choosing Panagrams, your source for all your embroidery and digital printing needs. What we're going to be doing today and what we're going to be demonstrating is the HM1C. The first step is to get a graphic. Uh, we are printing out of Photoshop for this particular exercise, but you do have the ability to print out of pretty much anything that has a print queue. All right, from here, I will prepare my image. Uh, this is an image that was given to me by Action Illustrated. Uh, and I added my own text and lettering styles, gradient overlays, things like that. What I'm going to do now is remove the background, and then I'm going to print just the image. The little checkerboard that you see behind here will be uh, the transparent background, so that way it doesn't print any of the background. From here, once I have the image, file and print. It gives me a preview screen, so that way I can do scaling if I wanted to do it at a particular size, something like I can type in 12 center the image uh, so that way it's where it needs to be and I will actually make it print 2.5 down from the top of uh, basically below the collar. This gives me ample spacing and good placement. It is user defined what you want it to be. Range correct print and then I go into its properties and tell the printer how I want it to be printed, uh, the quality, what type of material I'm printing on and how much white ink I want to put down. Right now, uh, my paper size is set up to be 13 by 22, which is the bed of the HM1. Uh, I'm going to be printing at a uh, print quality of 1440 by 720, which is our medium setting. The 720 is definitely faster, but it also loses a little bit of the integrity of the image. The 1440 by 1440 is the photorealistic. That's used on the non-textile such tiles and stretch canvas, and I'll show you a couple of examples of those in a little bit. All right, so I'm going to be doing the 1440 by 720. This is what I do most of my dark shirts at. I'll scroll down, and then I want to tell it what layer type I want to use. We actually use layer types in this print driver to tell it that I want to print one layer of white ink and then the top layer to be all the colors. Uh, the choice I'm going to be using for this particular image is Color Layer Auto Mask. So what it does is automatically mask every pixel in the image with a white pixel underneath it. The good thing about it, it actually breaks the white mask up into a graphic. So from here, I'm going to go down and I'm going to tell it that I'm printing on black cotton, which uh, will be a black t-shirt. I do have the ability to print on everything from rigid goods, uh, light, dark colored cotton, uh, white cotton with heavy ink, such as like a, a terry cloth towel, uh, canvases, and also uh, and plain paper and photo quality paper. So I'm going to choose black cotton. Um, up underneath here, I'll tell it that I'm going to print at a medium density of white ink. I do have a light density for like the uh, aged or um, or kind of rustic looking shirts. And then I also have a heavy density, which is more like a sort of like the feeling of plastisol, real thick layer of ink. Medium density is generally what I use for most t-shirts. Once I have those settings set, I click OK, OK again, and then OK, and it will send it to my RIP software. The RIP software comes with the HM1C, it's provided with all our printers. It in turn takes the graphic uh, printed out of Photoshop and then in turn rasterizes it and puts it into a Power RIP hot folder. The hot folder in turn turns it into a PostScript file which the printer can interpret and then print to the shirt. So the next thing I want to do is actually get my shirt ready for the printing. The way I line this up is I look, slide the lowest part of the collar into the center of my button and slide it right off the edge so that way it doesn't come into the leveling of the shirt. I'll go ahead and tuck that collar in to our exclusive tuck lock system. And then I'll make sure that the shirt's even left to right and top to bottom and then tuck in the rest of the sides. Pretty simple process once you've done it a couple of times. Tuck all the excess up underneath. And then I'll slide my shirt in and make sure that it's nice to level and even. One of the nice things about the HM1 is it has an auto leveling system. So all I have to do is hold the up button until it stops and then it self levels itself at the perfect gap. I'll hit the load button, bringing the print head forward. And once the RIP software has given enough data to the machine, it will go ahead and start printing. The first thing it'll print is a white layer, the auto mask. 